Are you searching for a simple guide on how to create flow designer for catalog item in ServiceNow? So best of luck, you are in the right place. So in this tutorial, I'll show you a step-by-step -step on how to build an automated workflow for a service catalog item using flow designer. So you can save time, eliminate manual work, and improve your user experience in your ServiceNow instance. Before we dive in, I'd like you to make sure to subscribe, join as a member, and hit the bell icon for more ServiceNow training videos that will take you from beginner to advanced. So what you're seeing now is a personal developer instance or the development environment of ServiceNow. Completely installed with this developer environment is your demo data. And if you have not done so, installed your PDI or personal developer instance, I have provided how to set up your PDI or developer instance at the end of the screen so you can follow along. And one of the key techniques that I'd like to share with you is how you can manage the out-of-the-box templates of the ServiceNow developer instance to further guide you on how to approach common problems using out-of-the-box templates. So the first step is to navigate on where the service catalog are found by navigating to the application menu and typing in maintain items. And one template that I'd like you to look at is the standard laptop. As we navigate to this catalog item, and as we narrow down the search, you will see on this example that it's using a workflow service catalog item request. And as we drill down to keep this template, I'd like you to learn how to copy the service catalog on the top right. As you copy it, you keep the original safe as you use this as your laboratory and further test the catalog item. And as we scroll down that, it's using workflow editor and on the goal of this video is to utilize the workflow using Flow Designer. And before we move in, let us navigate first to Service Catalog. And before doing that, let's save this before navigating to the Flow Designer. And as we move here, let us do a search of another out-of-the-box workflow named Service Catalog Item Request. And as we drill down to this workflow, you will see on this template that the trigger is type service catalog. And the strategy I'd like to share with you is to also copy this template by navigating to the top right and copy this flow. So you get to keep the original as you basically learn the functionality of this workflow. And now as we have created a copy of this template, we can now activate. And as we activate this workflow and move it to a published state. We can now go back to the standard laptop copy and let us do a refresh to have a fresh instance of this catalog item to ensure that we have access to the newly published flow designer. And as you can see that as I have typed in, we can now start and navigate this new flow and attaching it to this catalog item. And let us now save this new behavior that we have created. And if this strategic tutorial on how to create flow designer for catalog item in ServiceNow is helping, give the video a thumbs up, join us a member, and give a super thanks. It supports the channel and helps other ServiceNow learners find it. As we basically implemented those two steps, on copying this catalog item and republishing this workflow of service catalog item request, we can now navigate to the top right and test it and see how it behaves. And as we move to the top right and do an order, and now you can see that the catalog item has now triggered. And to further verify, we can now drill down to the specific request number. And as you can see that the workflow is already working as expected. To further prove the theory, now as admin, 
as I navigate to the Approvers tab, I will just right click and approve. And now from the request level, we are going to drill down to the request item level. And as we refresh the list, it will also the refresh the stages on the right of the table. And as we drill down to the item level of this request, and as we scroll down, we will get to approve on the item level and now do a refresh on the task level. And as you can see, it has now triggered the procurement. So all the workflow steps in this catalog item is following all the standards that you have basically copied from the original template. And to further learn about Flow Designer, I have created a full playlist that you can also find at the end of the screen. And I further encourage you to use this PDI as your laboratory and make mistakes, break it, fix it. And on this strategy, by copying a template, it will give you the confidence in every mistake you make. The more experience you get and the better developer that you will become. And as we navigate back to the item level, now we can basically right click and close a task. And as we move to the next stage, as we refresh the list, and now we are basically on the field services. And as we go back to the flow designer, and as we scroll down, you can see on top of the fulfillment of the order, behind the scenes, you are also sending an email notification on each and every stage. Now the stages that you see here will directly reflect also on the request item level. So as we navigate back to the request level and see on the request item level stages, so each and specific stage mentioned highlighted on this workflow is reflected in the flow designer. As you can see here from manager approval, department head approval, until we basically deploy and finally completed. And as we navigate back, you will see here that it has basically reflected all the stages and you can see the SLA on each stage. And as we further drill down and complete the workflow and right click and close a task, it will automatically complete all the stages from the request item level bubbling up to the request level. Now verifying that your flow runs correctly after we have published and test, now every time someone submits the catalog item, your ServiceNow flow designer automation runs automatically. So you've officially learned how to create flow designer for catalog item in ServiceNow. And now you're confident to put it into practice. And that's it. You now know how to create flow designer for catalog item in ServiceNow from start to finish. This is a skill every ServiceNow admin and developer should have, and it sets the foundation for more advanced workflows and integrations. For more ServiceNow tutorials in setting up your developer environment and a full playlist of flow this link in the description and at the end of the screen. Don't forget to subscribe and consider joining as a member or sending a super thanks if you find this video valuable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.